everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm making some of the best breakfast casserole ever. Um, this is not my own recipe. It's something that my husband found on Pinterest like a year ago and we love it so much. Like when I was pregnant, we ate this all the time <laughs> and we use it for like a quick dinner idea. So I'm gonna show you the steps on how to make it. First thing we're gonna do is take a pack of one pound of bacon and fry it up in a skillet. Alright, so while this bacon is frying, you're going to put your oven to 375 and have a stick of butter melting in the oven in a pan about this size. I'm not sure what size that is. Also, I need to clean my oven, don't judge. So, would you look at that view outside? It's such a nice day today. They just paved the parking lot at church. It looks so good. Now, we're going to get everything into the bowl and it actually calls for two cups of this quick, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use Hungry Jack. So I'm gonna put two cups into the bowl. Now for this recipe, you actually need eight eggs and you're supposed to mix two with the mix and then you're gonna use the other eggs after, but I actually only have six eggs left. So I'm just gonna work with what I got and I'm gonna crack two eggs into the bowl and then use the other four later. Just gonna mix this together this quick in the two eggs. Okay you guys I was wondering why this was so clumpy I forgot a step. You need one cup of milk so all I have is almond milk so that's what I'm gonna do. That's better. <laughs> okay so when your batter looks like this we're gonna go ahead and remove the pan from the oven that has the melted butter in it. Now we're just gonna pour this in over the melted butter. Okay so now it looks like this and you're just gonna put now the bacon on it and you're gonna crunch the bacon up and then you're also gonna put some ham if you want just some lunch um, ham and just like chop it up into little pieces or tear it and then also some cheese so there's the ham I just sprinkled on about two pieces of ham but you can do however much you want all right so I've just um, tore apart a whole pack of bacon and put it on here you probably don't need that much bacon but we love bacon so <laughs> go ahead and put as much as you want all right, next I just took all the cheese we had left and just layered it right on top. Oh, Beador's car, I gotta go get it. Lastly, him. mix together your four eggs, well, six eggs, but I only had four, one cup of milk, and then pour it on top. Here's our mixture, and you just pour it on top of the casserole, just like that, and then you bake. Now we're gonna take our casserole and bake it at 375 for about 35 to 40 minutes uncovered, and then let it stand about 10 minutes before you eat it. Hey guys, so like I said, I did modify a few things. Um, they do say to add like nutmeg into that egg mixture and some other things, but I just went ahead and left that out because I don't have nutmeg. Um, if I don't have everything for a recipe, I just work with what I have. So hopefully it'll come out um, just like it usually does since I have a few different things, but we'll see. But yeah, I will link down in the description box the recipe so you can find exactly um, the right ingredients that they did use. And here's the finished product. I think the cheese got a, a little bit too brown. I didn't take it out soon enough, but we'll cut it in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like. 